ਚਿੱਤਰਕਾਰੀ ਦੇ ਖੇਤਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਿਕਾਸੋ ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਹੁਣ ਤੱਕ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਚਿੱਤਰਕਾਰਾਂ ਨੇ ਵੱਖ-ਵੱਖ ਸੱਭਿਆਚਾਰ ਵੱਖ-ਵੱਖ ਪ੍ਰੇਮੀ ਜੋੜੇ ਔਰ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਦੇ ਕਈ ਇਹੋ ਜਿਹੇ ਇਮੋਸ਼ਨਸ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਚਿੱਤਰਕਾਰੀ ਦੇ ਰੂਪ ਵਿੱਚ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕੀਤੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਹਾਲੇ ਤੱਕ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਰੱਖੇ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਫਰਾਂਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾਂ ਇੰਗਲੈਂਡ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਇਤਿਹਾਸ ਨੂੰ ਚਿਤਰਿਆ ਤੇ ਹਾਲੇ ਵੀ ਵੱਡੀਆਂ ਤਸਵੀਰਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਲਾਰਡਸ ਅਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਰਾਜਾ ਮਹਾਰਾਜਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਵੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਸਿੱਖ ਇਤਿਹਾਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲੇ ਸਰ ਸੋਭਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੋਰਾਂ ਨੇ ਜੋ ਚਿੱਤਰਕਾਰੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਸਰ ਕਰਪਾਲ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਰ ਕਰਪਾਲ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੋਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਸਪੁੱਤਰ ਸਰ ਜਰਨੈਲ ਸਿੰਘ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੇ ਚਿੱਤਰਕਾਰ ਸਨ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੇ ਸੱਭਿਆਚਾਰ ਬਾਰੇ ਜਾਂ ਸਿੱਖ ਇਤਿਹਾਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਚਿੱਤਰਾ ਰਹੀ ਇੱਕ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਨੂੰ ਬਿਆਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਟੋਰਾਂਟੋ ਦੇ ਇੱਕ ਨੌਜਵਾਨ ਕਮਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਢਿੱਲੋਂ ਨੇ ਜੋ ਚਿੱਤਰਕਾਰੀ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਵਿਲੱਖਣ ਰੰਗ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਜਜ਼ਬੇ ਨੇ ਚਿਹਰੇ ਦੇ ਹਾਵ ਭਾਵ ਨੇ ਬਚਿੱਤਰ ਸਰ ਬਚਿੱਤਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੋਰੀ ਜਦੋਂ ਸ਼ਰਾਬੀ ਹੋਏ ਹਾਥੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਗ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਾਰਨ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਘੋੜਾ ਇੰਨੀ ਤੇਜ਼ ਸਰਪਟ ਦੌੜਦਾ ਮਹਿਸੂਸ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਹੁਣ ਵੀ ਨਾਗਣੀ ਲੱਗੀ ਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਵੀ ਨਾਗਣੀ ਲੱਗੀ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਚਿੱਤਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਬਣਾਏ ਨੇ ਬਾਬਾ ਬੰਦਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਦਾ ਚਿੱਤਰ ਬਣਾਇਆ ਔਰ ਬਾਬਾ ਬੰਦਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਜੰਗ ਨੂੰ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਘੋੜੇ ਤੇ ਝੰਡਾ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਰਾਜ ਦਾ ਸੋ ਇਸ ਕਿਸਮ ਦੇ ਚਿੱਤਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਬਣਾਏ ਪਰ ਰੰਗ ਵੱਖ-ਵੱਖ ਰੰਗ ਭਰਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਜੋ ਹਾਵ ਭਾਵ ਤੇ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਨੂੰ ਡਿਪਿਕਟ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਵੱਖਰੀ ਕਿਸਮ ਦਾ ਨਜ਼ਾਰਾ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਇਤਿਹਾਸ ਖਾਸ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਸਿੱਖ ਇਤਿਹਾਸ ਨੂੰ ਚਿਤਰਨ ਵਾਲੇ ਕਮਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਢਿੱਲੋਂ ਅੱਜ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਟੂਡੀਓਜ਼ ਚ ਆਏ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਜੀ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਹਾਂ ਟੈਲ ਅਸ ਬਿਟ ਮੋਰ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਯੂਰ ਬੈਕਗ੍ਰਾਉਂਡ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਅ ਯੰਗ ਮੈਨ ਹੂ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਰੀਲੀ ਅ ਬੈਪਟਾਈਜ਼ਡ ਸਿੱਖ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਡਿਪਿਕਟਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਸਿੱਖ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਹਾਊ ਡਿਡ ਯੂ ਗੈਟ ਟੂ ਇਟ ਆਈ ਸਟਡੀਡ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਸਟਡੀਡ ਆਰਟ ਐਂਡ ਆਫਟਰ ਆਈ ਗ੍ਰੈਜੂਏਟਿਡ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਆਈ only then happened to pick up a book on um, Sikh history it was uh, uh, Kushwant Singh's uh, history of the Sikhs and i just i couldn't put the book down every page i read a story from the gurus to the famous Sikh generals all the way down to Maharanjit Singh and i kept thinking these all these stories would make fantastic paintings you know mm-hmm. so it was just uh, the inspiration was all there and then i just started with one painting a painting of uh, baba bandha singh bahadur because i thought his story was just it's just incredible he was handed the guruship uh, has handed the um the leadership of the sikhs after guru gobind singh uh, passed away and in a few short years he he took a small band of sikhs and raised a massive army shook the empire that was oppressing all of india um so i thought that was really something that would make a fantastic painting so basically you're fascinated with the sikh history um even if you're not raised with the orthodox values of sikhism is is your parents uh, you raised in a sikh house i was raised in a sikh house and yes uh my parents uh, are orthodox um so they didn't put a lot of pressure on me and i think now that i'm getting older i'm starting to lean more towards that than i ever did in my youth and i think a lot of that has to do with the fact that i'm starting to read it and starting to find out about it mm-hmm. so that that's a that's definitely yeah tode chitran de vich jo mainu nazar aaya hai khaas taur de utte jadon sardar bachitr singh kode te swar ho ke nagni leke sharabi hoye haathi de sir ch marda hai utthe main pehla vi tasveeran vekhiyan ne par eh tasveer vakhri hai jis tarah koda sarpat daude aa reha ਔਰ ਨਾਗਣੀ ਹੁਣੇ ਹੱਥੋਂ ਨਿਕਲ ਕੇ ਹਾਥੀ ਦੀਆਂ ਅੱਖਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿਚਕਾਰ ਵੱਜੇਗੀ ਔਰ ਹਾਥੀ ਵੀ ਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਚ ਹੈ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਤਸਵੀਰਾਂ ਨਾਲੋਂ ਇਹ ਵੱਖਰਾਪਣ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਹਾਊ ਡਿਡ ਯੂ ਵਾਟ ਵਰ ਯੂ ਥਿੰਕਿੰਗ ਐਟ ਦੈਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਆ ਵੈਲ ਇਟ ਜਸਟ ਕੇਮ ਆਊਟ ਆਫ ਸੂਨ ਐਸ ਆਈ ਰੈਡ ਦ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਐਂਡ 
Yeah, th this was a unique uh, painting that you have where you can see when you're seeing the painting, looks like you're watching a movie. So how are you able to kind of bring those motions into the painting? I really spend a lot of time, I think, once, once I know the story that I want to illustrate, I really sort of think about the atmosphere, the moment. So the colors I use are impact the sort of feeling I have or, or just the way it's composed. So one painting like the Bajitar Singh it, it is very action-packed. So the angles that I pick, the way I depict it, is something to show speed and momentum. But uh, there's another painting, like uh, my painting of Guru Arjan Devji, um, from everything I've read about him, he just seemed a man with an incredible, a very peaceful individual. When the Guru Sahib was <laughs> born, he was born by Guru Das. And he was born by Chonkda Maar, and he was born by Chonkda Maar. The spectrum of colors is amazing. What did he use? Well, uh, it, it was, my feeling was to just create a very serene and majestic moment. Uh, I wanted, because um, what I was depicting was a very special moment in Sikh history, and we've had a lot of special moments, but this was the, the, when Guru Rajan Dev Ji sat down and along with Bhai Gurdas, collected all the writings of the earlier Gurus and composed the Adi Granth, which later becomes the Guru Granth Sahib. So it was a special moment. So I wanted to, when I visualized it, I wanted it to be um, almost super real. You know, mm -hmm. it's almost like sort of not sort of just ordinary. So the colors I picked reflected that. It was just a very special moment. But Kamar Singh Tillo, you see Punjabi padhe nahi hoye, Angrezi de vich tusi history padhe hoye. Wo de vich Sri Guru Granth Sahib de jari akhar ne, wo Gurmukhi de vich likhe hoye. Wo saaf nazar hoye ne painting de vich. Wo kis tarah likhe fir? That, I have to admit, that I, uh, that's the only part of the painting that is not 100% mine. I, I have a, a good Gursik friend from the UK who specializes in um, Gurmukhi. In Gurmukhi. So he, uh, you know, by collaborating with him, I, I showed him old parchments, old uh, copies of um, um, the Granth from dating from the 1600s. Mm -hmm. And he used, he looked at that style and he, he wrote it out for me. And then I had to then transpose that onto the painting. Banda Singh Bahadur is the picture that you see. Chitri is. Oos de vich Banda Singh Bahadur kode te chadya, chere te jalala hai. Or dreya de vich kodreya koda, dreya ja rea. Or kathi de utte ek chanda laya hoya hona ne. Panth da chanda chul rea. Or kai wari menu na dekh ke istra lagda toh di te swira. Jime cowboy culture to tuhi kaafi prabhavat ho tuhi. Definitely some of the styles that I look at because I don't, I take the content, it, it is Sikh, Sikh story, Sikh content, but definitely the stylistic influences are more Western. So I do look at whatever is the, um, uh, the counterpart of that in Western art. And, and, and a lot of uh, it has been looking at like um, North American artists from a hundred years ago when they were trying to show uh, Native Americans and the cowboy culture of the time. And because it was the same thing, I mean, the men who lived on horseback, um, lived in very lawless times, had to survive in those times. So uh, the atmosphere and the feeling is very similar. And the way the art is depicted, there, it's very fast paced, very sort of the, the action of the moment. Whereas if I do a painting like the Guru Rajan Devji painting, I will look at more earlier work, uh, what is called Baroque style painting from 1600s, um, which is mostly in European museums, it's a very classical style. Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Kalgiyan Wale Paatshah Diyan Tasweeran Jadiyan Hun Tak Chitriyan Giyan Ne, Ona Cha Ziyada Diyan Tasweeran Ona De Jalal Waliyan, Kode Te Chade, Neelay Kode Te Aswar, Kalangi Laggi Hoi, Kode Diyan Moor Liyan Latta, Chakiyan Te Pichhe Jangal De Badal Chaye, Aes Kisim Diyan Tasweeran Baut Ne. But when you made the picture of Sri Guru Gobind Singh, I think that the picture of the last year of the picture of the picture. What were you studying at that time? What was going through your mind when you painted Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji? Well, I painted him in, in two different paintings now. Um, and uh, I would probably say... I'm talking about when he's, he is bowing right, in front of yes. Guru Granth yeah. Sahib Ji. Yeah, that painting was... Um, 
that was created for, to commemorate the 300th anniversary of uh, uh, 300 years since uh, Guru Gobind Singh passed the Guru ship to the Guru Granth Sahib. And uh, it's, in that case, I really just uh, read as much on the history as possible um, uh, and just try to get a feeling of that moment when the Guru re had lost his sons, had lost, and there were no heirs to the Guru ship. And I, he, I, I believe, consciously decided that this was the moment where the Sikhs needed like an eternal Guru. They, they needed uh, someone, something that could just carry them from this point onwards, and that's what we've had ever since. That, uh, that's what, after he lost his sons, yes. how would a person feel, how would yeah. Guru was gonna uh, reacting to it? Yes. And what was his reaction? Well, that, that's the thing. I mean, it, these, uh, the, uh, these events would be very traumatic for any other individual, but my feeling was that for Guru Gobind Singh Ji, um, he would recognize that as part of the master plan. And he, so in his image, I showed uh, just sort of a, a far more serene. And still look. powerful. Powerful. Almost, even after these tragedies, almost a sense of joy still in his face. But in a very short period of time, you have earned a lot of uh, uh, reputation and uh, fans. Some of your fans has told me that you've been seen in some Gurdwaras in Toronto, sitting in a qu corner, quiet, and taking some notes and having some pencil sketches. I mean, you're not very orthodoxical or religious person. I can see it, but what are you doing there? Well, um, when I'm drawing these personalities, um, I find that sometimes it really helps to look at the Sikhs around me. And I look at orthodox Sikhs, you know. Um, um, so sometimes I will just sit at the Gurdwara and I will just study faces. I will study how turban styles even. I, you know, I will uh, just quietly make a few notes. Just and um, and you know, I never like take one person and make them the the person in the picture. But uh, often I take elements. You know, if I'm drawing a particular uh, character, like in um, Guru Rajan Dev Ji. He's standing with, uh, sitting with Bhai Gurdasji, and I had a very long time, had a hard time with that face. I couldn't find a face that, to I me, that, yeah. felt like Bhai Gurdasji. So then I just, you know, sat in the Gurdwara for a while, and I, and I saw this gentleman serving longer, and he was a perfect, you know, every time he came, he passed me and gave a few rotis, I took a few more strokes, you know, <laughs> until I got his face down. So then he became, for me... So basically, you're searching for the faces, Sikh faces, yeah. with the beard, mashara, dada, yes. and the dastaran sajiyan hiya, takde jusse wale, kis tarah de lagde hoon. And, and, and the sense of presence as well. So all of those things that, to me, felt like those personalities in the past. Because when you learn the Sikhs, you learn the dada, pradada, you learn the pradada, you learn the dada, after all, the Sikh features, flowing beards and moustache and turbans and, you know, chaude mode, takde bande. Oos kisim de character dekhte rende? I still see the same, the same elements. I see some people I see in today, some Sikhs, and it's so easy to imagine them 300 years ago in these difficult times. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just genetics. It's just like we're all descended from from those Sikhs. So a lot of us carry those faces still in our community. Where Soba Singh has painted so many um, historical paintings and pictures of gurus and uh, other things, he has also painted some, uh, you know, love stories uh, or uh, lovers of Punjab and, you know, romantic pictures, uh, romantic paintings. You haven't done that. No, no. For myself, I have to be honest, and, and uh, I feel a connection to Sikh history, um, and I feel a connection to the religion. I'm not sure how far that will take me. I hope a long way. But in terms of Punjabi culture, I mean, I was born in the Punjab, but I wasn't raised in the Punjab. So for me, doing those sorts of paintings would be sort of just faking the emotions that I just don't have. And particularly, I also feel that the Sikh history, I, and I've studied ex a lot of history now, at least got a bachelor undergrad in it, and I feel that Sikh history has so many stories that we know happened, and they're full of such um, valor. They're, they are epic. 
I, I can't think of another culture that has these sort of characters. So for me, why go to fictional stories, you know, myths and when so forth, when stories. I have original stories and, 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 you know, that I can research. And, and I, a lot of my time, a painting will take up to three months to do, usually sometimes a lot longer, depending on the level of detail. But you produce very few paintings and they're not available in abundance uh, and uh, most of them are on canvas. You do it deliberately, keep the stock small? Depending on what I sell, um, the canvas is sort of like the premier product. Um, it's just, so far it's just been me producing it, literally, from like the, the paint stroke to like shipping it. Um, that's just been the way. I mean, now that I'm, I'm busier, so... Um, but canvas takes quite a lot of um, time to prepare. Um, it's, it's something that once you have it, it's scientifically tested to last 200 years, they tell me, right? Um, so it's, it's a collector's item. It's something to keep for a long time. Um, and then they're limited. I will only sell maybe 100 copies. And 100 copies is not a lot. They sell out pretty fast. A few of my pieces that I really, a piece, the Guru Gobind Singh piece, where he is buying to Guru Granth Sahib, was released last November. I think I have less than 10 copies left. And once they're gone, that's it, on canvas, so. So, uh, lately I have uh, noticed that you have painted Mai Pago. Mm -hmm. Mai Pago, Talwar Khichi Khadi, Nangi Talwar hai, or Chere De Utte, Haak Mana Leza hai. I mean, what have you read about it, and, and how did you paint that? Well, interestingly enough, although I read some of it, I did a little bit of reading, but the real inspiration came by um, actually an audio lecture. It was um, a Gursik from uh, New Mexico, um, and she, uh, she gives classes, and uh, she does audio lectures. I saw one on YouTube, and she's just telling the story of my Bago, um, and it was just... I mean, this woman was just a natural storyteller. And when I heard this thing, I was like, I read about my Pago, but the way she told the story, had so much passion. Um, and... Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so th th that story of when the, uh, the, the 40 Sikhs returned home uh, and after they had, like, disowned Guru Gobind Singh, um, so enraged my Pago, that she challenged them to return, led them into the battle. And so uh, it was a very powerful painting. And, and it, again, it's that sort of fusion between East and West. I used um, a painting that I love by a French painter, a lady called Rosa Bonheur. So there's a lot of female connection to this painting. And it's a fantastic painter, very little known. And so, is, you know, I used that painting, a painting of hers called The Horse Fair, as an influence, and then, but then it was, it was so much more interesting. But you, you've been to London or Paris or France? Yes, of course, yes, I spent a lot of time. You've seen those big, huge portraits and mm -hmm. huge paintings of those people. And those people, when you look into the history, did not have that big a contribution to the history, to yes, the truth. absolutely. And here we have warriors and we have Sikh legends mm -hmm. and uh, the stories are truthful and they're true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you feel the difference when you're painting that those people have preserved their history, absolutely. even if it was a, you know, bits and pieces. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I and feel... We, we were not able to keep yeah. the same momentum. Yeah, that, that's been a big motivating factor, learning... Um, Studying history, I noticed how much detail there is within the British, how much they know about very almost insignificant people whose contributions are very minor. Um, and yet they will erect statues of them, paint paintings of them. Because in a way, by like letting people know these are our heroes, they've made their culture as a whole well known. Whereas we have these larger than life personalities and very little is done to preserve artifacts about them in Punjab. A lot of stuff is just wasting away, uh, and very few people are writing about it or painting about it. And that's something that definitely we need to think about and we should change because that is, you know, those are the things that will, will inspire people. What's your next project? I'm working on uh, several pieces, actually. I always seem to work on at least three, but uh, one is a painting of Baba Jeet Singh. Um, this was at the Battle of Chumkor, and um, 
it depicts that moment when, after Baba Jeet Singh had asked Guru Gobind Singh Ji permission to leave the fort with five Singhs to fight the, uh, the army that was uh, laying siege to them, because it was a hopeless situation at that point. There was only a handful of Sikhs uh, with Guru Gobind Singh, including his two sons. Panj Singh had taken the thousands of the forces of Sahibjada Jeet Singh, who asked Guru Ji to come and ask him. That's what he did. Yes, yes. So I, I want to depict that moment of um, Baba Ajit Singh, the doors bursting open of the fort and him charging out with his five Sikhs. And again, it will be that feeling of, you know, what is, what is in their minds, what is, what is their expression. And I want to convey that same serenity in their features where they are not, mm -hmm. they're not worried about the sort of mortal life that they're leaving. Is, is there, uh, you know, uh, Guruji there too? That's when Pasha Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji be that when as the painting develops i will sort of have to decide that it, it becomes like um sometimes you put almost too much in a painting and almost when when you do put guru gobind singh in a painting it it tends to like lessen the effect of uh, it naturally lessens the effect of mm -hmm. everybody else they depicted in the painting so it'll be sajjada ajit singh i think kile de vich darwaze khulde te ekdam hazaran di fauj nal panja singh da jatha leke yes oh chapt pende hun yes Yes, definitely. Horses again. Yes, I'm probably drawing far too many horses. <laughs> They're not easy to draw and they take a lot of time. So. <laughs> so, and then I have other pieces. I have another painting I would love to do of uh, when uh, Guru Nanak Dev Ji visited uh, the sadhus uh, and conversed with them in the mountains. So there's a lot of going back and forth. And, and I like to balance a calmer painting with a more intense one. So it helps the work. You know, you, of course, not very religious person but you don't seem like very militant neither but most of your pictures are nagni ja rahi hai swar bachitra se haathi de maar raha talwar kad rahi hai mai pago baba banda singh bahadur shastra pa ke ladai ch kud raha baba ajit singh di tusi gal karde ho ke jang ch kudan to pehla aagya mang ke singha da panjan da jitha la ke nangiya talwaran te kodiyan de utte chad ke hamla kar rahe ne so you know seems to me that you like most of those uh, scenes where war is there, weapons are there, weaponry is there, you know, even your elephant is equipped with so many weapons. Do you like that? Is it your age or are you a really militant person? I don't think I'm militant. I just read the history and that's the reality of it. I mean, these are rough times. So it's just, uh, you know, I, I, I research very obscure books sometimes, you know. Um, just to see what elephant armor looks you like. You can't paint that from Kushwant Singh alone. I bet you. No, need no, something it's else. a good starting point. Um, but definitely, yes, there's a lot of time spent researching um, other history books. Other history books, reference books, photographs. Anytime I'm in a museum, there's and your dad any, tells you. And yes, my dad is. He's sort of an. He's amateur. a Gursik. He's a Gursik, and he's sort of an amateur historian too. So he's he's a big part of the inspiration behind it. Um, and he's, uh, he's always ready to critique my paintings. If I can get them past him, most people will accept them. <laughs> Anything you would like to uh, say to our viewers? The work I do is a pleasure to do. I, it's something that I hope I can do for a long time. Certainly there is there's no shortage of content. Um, so I, I, you know, every time I finish a painting, I have five more to do and I'm, and I'm grateful for the people that support me and you know are excited about the work so thank you very much thank you